So my brother sends me a text message saying, so you've got to listen to the Charlotte Church interview on the Adam Buxton podcast because you are going to love it. So I did. And, and, I, and I did. I loved it. Because Charlotte was talking about setting up a brand new democratic school. A democratic school is exciting in itself for me because um, my work is entirely focused on encouraging creativity and uh, in children and avoiding manipulating wherever possible, which is trickier than it sounds. But a democratic environment where kids already feel that their voice is important and their thoughts, their feelings, their ideas to shift the rules within their community that they've got within the school just lends itself really well to heightening creativity. Um, so I was already very excited. But these kids involved in the Alwyn project are creating from scratch their school environment, right down to the building. They're, they're going to get their hands dirty and actually help to build the school. I knew I had to get involved in this. Um, so I, I flung an email Charlotte's way just to say, this is me, here's some links to the work that I've done with kids, check it out please. I think if you're putting a team of people together, I, I want to get involved in this. Um, it sounds so exciting. And the next thing I know, I was driving down to Cardiff to go and meet Charlotte and her husband and have a chat about where they were at at that stage with the school and what their vision was and for them to meet me and find out whether they whether they thought I should be involved or not. I remember leaving that meeting feeling so inspired and excited um, and just fingers crossed that I was going to get an email saying, yeah, we definitely want you to be part of the team. But Charlotte had left me with a, a reading list, as long as my arm, um, with books that I think had inspired her and um, led her to where she was on this journey of creating this school, um, which I'm still halfway through because, you know, as mamas running businesses as well, um, it's pretty tricky to squeeze in any time for yourself at all. But I'm plowing through that list as we speak. Um, so since then, I have been to visit Owen twice. So the first time was to simply meet the kids, which has never happened to me before. Um, so I've run countless workshops in schools all over the place and never have I had a school say to me, can you come and meet the kids, get to know them a bit first, let them get to know you, find out a bit about what makes them tick, what excites them. Prior to any kind of workshop development, normally without, without any sense of what the children are like, I would have to develop a workshop that I would hope ticks all the boxes for pretty much all the kids and some kids are going to get more out of a particular workshop than others. It was really cool meeting the kids actually. We were just chilling around the kitchen table and I passed around my iPad and asked them to draw a quick doodle of a, themselves and write down their name and while they were doing that the other kids told me brilliant things about that person and um, so I got this gorgeous insight into all of them and then their response to what everyone else had said and it was just lovely to witness how they were with each other yeah I just couldn't wait for my next day so my first full day at Alwyn was super exciting because I've never never witnessed a school quite like it everyone started busily doing things one of the kids came up to me and said would you like a cup of tea or coffee I said oh a cup of coffee would be really lovely he said we've only got decaffeinated is that okay oh yeah that's fine for me yeah decaffeinated um would you like a piece of toast oh well now we're talking yeah I'll have a piece of toast please have you got butter I like a lot of butter yeah yeah shall I do it myself oh no 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 I'm on duty but someone else was mopping the floor teachers were cleaning the windows someone else was doing the boys toilets one was doing the girls toilets um, there was sweeping going on. So before they start their school day, they just completely sort their school environment. It was really cool that the kids were involved in this. And then my second visit to Alwyn, check this out. So I went essentially to work with one child who was really excited about doing um, stop motion animation for an art gallery exhibition that the kids, are, they're all creating something. And he wanted to do a stop motion animation so they've asked me to come in and work with him. Now, I remember when I first met Charlotte and Johnny, one of the things that I said to them that concerned me about any school 
was that um, I don't know how you can get it right for every child because what I know is as a parent, if I was going to create a school that, that suited them perfectly, it wouldn't be the same school for my daughter as it would for my son. It would be entirely different. So how can they possibly get a school environment right for every child? And yet here I was going to Owen oh, to work with one child because he particularly wanted to do this stop motion animation. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So I went armed with loads of stuff just in case any of the other kids who happened upon what we were doing uh, felt moved to join in. And sure enough, I ended up with a lovely group of about five or six of us all getting involved, making their own characters and doing and doing some stop motion. Um, yeah, I love it. I can't wait to see where it goes. Right now they're working from Charlotte's annex in her garden. Um, next year they'll be moving to a new premises and the kids will have um, dreamt up what that will look like and how it will feel. And um, I'm really grateful to be a part of the process and I will continue to share bits and bobs. I'm sorry this was so long and garbled, but um, I really need to go and do some work now. Um, so I'll catch you all soon.